Hey guys, it's Random, and today I have probably, well, it'll definitely be my last Modern Warfare 3 video, unless I show you my stats, but I don't know really if you want to see that or not. If you do, then let me know, but I'm pretty sure the majority of people who subscribe to me are my mates. But if you're not and you want to see, then I'll do the video. If not, then I won't do another. So this will probably be my last Modern Warfare 3 video, and I have around 15 to 20 gameplays saved up um, and whatever's in fear so I probably usually have around 10 to uh, to record from fear because I still haven't done that from ages ago so um, I made a video uh, well this video you're watching right now and I've just took in well took in taken some streaks sorry from um, some of them gameplays, some of the best streaks, and then some just some random modes, just some random guns. Cause I noticed I did uh, a first attempt at like an eight-minute video or something, and there was actually two of them, and a lot of them were ACR gameplays. And I obviously I don't want it all to be with the same gun, so I got rid of one or two of them, and I still think there's two in there of the ACR. But they're usually different guns, as you can see. I'm using the G36. So I think I use the M4A1, MP7. I uh, can't think of any other guns. PP, maybe the P90. I'm not sure if that's in there or not. But uh, anyway, I switched up the maps as well. So that was the main thing I wanted to do. I just wanted to highlight uh, the rest of my mobs of Modern Warfare before the new one comes out. And I could. I've done them all, but I don't really want to do three to four videos more on Modern Warfare 3. So I really don't play it at all at the minute. I do try it occasionally, but I'm really not in the in the mood to play Modern Warfare 3 because uh, it's it's not the best Call of Duty. Um, well, this is the weird thing for me. Um, don't take this personally. I'm not like telling you guys what. I think should be um, what I think is fact, but this is just my personal opinion on Call of Duty. So I obviously Black Ops is my favourite, and then Modern Warfare 2, and then Modern Warfare 3. So it's not my favourite Call of Duty, but I have over I have around 150,000 kills on Modern Warfare 3. So that is quite a lot for a game which isn't even the best Call of Duty. But for me, when I play any other multiplayer game online. Gears of War, Halo, um, I don't really want to say Battlefield because I'll get some hate, but uh, trying to think, Medal of Honor, any game like that. And this is just my personal opinion. Um, they really, they don't, I don't know, they don't f in entertain me as much, and there's no like satisfaction when you get them, when you do really well in a game. Because you'll play a game and go, I don't know, 20 and 2 on whatever game, and you'll be like, oh, I played well, but then as soon as it gets to the match lobby, you just start the next game, and you don't even reflect on that last match you had. So you can play it. Well, this is for me, obviously. You can play it for like an hour or two, um, and then you just, I just turn it off and go on a different game. So that's why. Um, but with COD, if you play well, you get kill streaks. If you play well, you get mode, and it's really fast-paced compared to any other game, because. Uh, you're always in the action, even though it is annoying sometimes that you spawn and die. I prefer to spawn and die than have a game where you can get like 20 kills max a match, which isn't isn't great for me because it's like 10 minutes and you get 20 kills. And I know I do that in some of my games on COD, but you have the opportunity to get like 100 kills a game, which is just so you're it's intense and hard work to do well. I think personally. So uh, that's the thing with COD for me. I can play COD for hours because it's always different and it's always hard to do. Well, it's always hard to do well because everyone plays different. You come across campers, you come across fucking rushers who maybe are better players, but I tend to think they have better connection in that one lobby anyway. So um, that's just my overview on COD. That it's really just the better game, no matter what COD it is, no matter. If it's not the best COD, it's still better than any other online game. Personally, this is anyway. Even World at War, which I'm not a big fan of because it has a fucking tank in it. Because uh, for me, unless it's Halo, a game shouldn't have vehicles online because it just 
this pisses me off. But anyway, I need to talk about Modern Warfare 3 because it's been five minutes already. I haven't even spoken about it. Jesus Christ. But uh, I want to just do my overall thoughts on Modern Warfare 3 before new one comes out because this game's nearly been out for a year, which I cannot believe. Because I remember watching loads of Modern Warfare 3 videos, waiting for this game to come out, and it's already been a year. So basically, Modern Warfare 3 it isn't the best COD, and I know I've said this about ten times already. But the things that pissed me off the most uh, were the maps. Uh, I only liked Interchange, Boardwalk, and Gulch, but Boardwalk and Gulch didn't come out for fucking until like a month ago. So that's kind of pointless. And also, what else don't I like? I can't even remember now. Everyone uses the most bullshit guns, which pisses me off. I know it happens on all cards, but on this game, there's too many bullshit guns, and it's really overpowered. And uh, also, my pet hate on um, this is the one problem I have with all Modern Warfare's. Even though on Modern Warfare 1 and 2 there was stopping power, so it wasn't like this. And um, well, it wasn't like this all the time. Uh, how quick you die. Now this is what oh, one of my most annoying. Oh, this is so it just pisses me off really. Because you shouldn't die as quick as you do, if you know what I mean. Because on I don't want to really refer to Black Ops, but when you play Black Ops or you're not using stopping power on Modern Warfare 2 um, and Modern Warfare 1, I don't even know if there's stopping power on that, is there? I think there is. But um, you can shoot someone and you have a chance, well, th you they can be shooting you, but if they're inaccurate, you can turn around and kill them if they are like don't play very well. But on Modern Warfare 3, you can shoot a thousand bullets into a wall and then drag it across. Fire one bullet and then you got the kill. It's fucking retarded to be honest and I don't like it. And I'm glad Treyarch don't do that with their games and I wish Modern Warfare, well, Infinity Ward, Modern Warfare games, whatever, don't do that in the future because it really does piss me off. Because you can be on a 20 streak and then this noob will be sitting in the corner and go do it with his fucking ACR because it's overpowered to fight. Uh, but it does have a plus side, Modern Warfare 3. I did play it a lot. I think it's the second most kills that I have on a COD, apart from Modern Warfare 2. Actually, no, I probably got more on Modern Warfare 3, actually, to be fair. But it was a really decent game, to be honest, um, in a sense, because Specialist, because Assault wasn't very good on this game, but Specialist was one of the best things about this game. Because, I don't know, it gave it a different aspect. Even though I don't want Specialist on Black Ops 2, which it isn't, which is good, because I think having the Blackbird as like one of the main things is a lot better than having Specialist, personally. But if they introduce Bl uh, Blackbird into uh, next Modern Warfare 4, or whatever they're going to call it, then it would be good, but it's probably a Treyarch only thing. So uh, it does have its plus sides and it does have its negatives, but I'm going to leave it here guys and I'll see you soon with a Black Ops 1 video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.